Hi guys, this is Soro. So, sometimes we create an app in MIT App Inventor like user registration and user login. Okay, so, but this one is pretty simple. But in this part, there is one difficult part. That one is how we can check the username is already exist or not. Okay, so that's why we need your validation. It means there should be only one username for one person. Okay, so how we can check the username is already exist in our database. Okay, so let me show you how we can implement this functionality. So let's create one project here, start new project and check user name app. Okay, so let me just drag and drop here to text box simply. Okay, like this and uh, I'm to make both of them like with this well parent like that. And then I'm to drag and drop your one button also. Okay, so click on another text box one, make it with this fill parent. And drag and drop your one button like this. Okay, click on screen and make it align center. And then change this background color to black. Click on this button and change this name to something you can say login also, or you can rename anything like you can. You can save the data button also rename fine now rename this or something like this change background now let me just uh, drag and drop one cloud dv storage option here this one is storage cloud dv right and go to the block so whenever someone click on this button one then we have to store text box one dot text data and text box two dot text data so just text box one dot text this one and copy and paste this one so we have to check your condition if the username is already exist then we will not store your data and we will not store the data so how we can do this so this is one solution for that so we have to use your if else condition okay so here you can see so whenever someone click on this button one so we are not going to store data. We will fetch the cloud DB all tags here first. Then whenever we fetch the all tags, then here you can see the cloud DB and you will find your option of the tag list. When tag list we will find and get, then we will call here if else condition. Here you can see the if condition, if else condition, this one here like this. And then you can see the option of list and you can see the is in list. Okay, the thing. So which thing it means we have to check text box one dot text. It means if the is in list is sort of and which list and we will find this cat value. And from that this will fetch the all text, right? All text. If the sort of is already exist or the username is already exist then we will notify them so we will use your notifier in the user interface you will see notifier drag and drop it here go to the blog click on notifier and you can see the show dialog message and you can display the error also or you can display the alert like this one and we will call it here please select other username or you can say username is uh, already exists something like that and if the username not exists it means in the else part we will store the data simply right now let me run this app in emulators and let's see how it's work so here you can see that we have two text box okay so let me just put some information here suppose my username is sort of and the password suppose is one two three. I'm using your text uh, text box. You can use your password box also. So suppose password is one two three four five, and click on save data. The data is saved now. Okay, but now let me just click on again the save data because I'm using your name sort of. And if I just change password also, so that doesn't matter. And click on save data. And you can see please select other user name. Here you can see notification. You can call your notifier a uh, message also like you can see notifier and you can see the option of show message dialer so we will call it here 
just copy and paste it this in this message and then just copy this title to something username or something whatever you want and the button text is okay right i'm going to make it okay fine and let's see how it's work now let's put the value sort of and the password is something anything else anything and click on save it and you can see please select other username okay it means username is already exist right so click on ok and then just put sort of two and save data data is safe you can display the message also that this data is safe so for that we will call again here after saving the data data is saved data is saved or you can say like uh, your account is created something whatever you want then let me just put uh, another value just suppose uh, harry okay and the harry one two three four and click on save data you can say data is saved okay click on okay then again let me just click on save data again you can see please select other username it means this username is already exists right so that's the very simple condition you can use in your registration and login uh, page in mit app inventor okay so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye